Welcome to the 10 Minute Facts channel. Ukraine is a country with a rich cultural heritage and is home to many historic sites and landmarks. Some of the most famous include the Kiev Petrus Klavra, a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the most important religious centers in Eastern Europe. In addition to its historic and cultural attractions, Ukraine also has a diverse and beautiful landscape that includes the Carpathian Mountains, the Black Sea Coast, and the Steppes of the South. The country is also home to many national parks and nature reserves, which offer opportunities for outdoor activities. Ukraine has a dynamic and rapidly developing economy, with a focus on industries such as agriculture, manufacturing, and ID. The country is one of the largest producers of grain and sunflower oil in the world, and it has a growing ID sector, which has made it one of the leading countries in Eastern Europe in terms of software development. Furthermore, Ukraine has a vibrant and dynamic society with a rich tradition of literature, art, and music. The country has a strong and passionate civil society, which has played a critical role in promoting democracy and human rights. Here are some interesting facts about Ukraine. Arsenal the metro station in Kiev is the deepest in the world. It runs underground at a depth of 105 meters. The station near the parliament building was built in 1960, one of the first. According to some reports, there were secret hiding places for the political elite in the tunnels near Arsenalna. The third most visited McDonald's in the world is located in Kiev near the railway station. This restaurant is consistently ranked among the five busiest McDonald's in the world. Ukraine ranks fourth in the world in terms of the number of citizens with higher education. Ukraine's population is among the most educated, and the number of people with higher education per capita is higher than the European average. One of the world's most famous Christmas songs is Shedrick, a folk song recorded by Ukrainian composer Mykola Leontovich. The world knows it as Carol of the Bells or Ring Christmas Bells. On YouTube, various performances of Shedrick gain millions of views. At the 1934 Beauty of Languages contest in Paris, the Ukrainian language was ranked third after French and Persian in terms of phonetics, vocabulary, phraseology, and sentence structure. And in terms of melody, the Ukrainian language ranked second after Italian. The author of the world's first constitution was a Ukrainian, Pilip Orlik. On April 5, 1710, he was elected hetman of the Zaporizhzhia army. On the same day, he proclaimed the Constitution of the Rights and Freedoms of the Zaporizhzhia Army. In the United States, the Constitution was adopted in 1787, and in France and Poland only in 1791. The longest musical instrument in the world is the Ukrainian trumpeter. It can be up to 4 meters long, and its sounds can be heard more than 10 kilometers away. Among the outstanding achievements of the Ukrainian aircraft industry are the world's largest airplane, the N-225 Maria, and the most powerful airplane, the N-124 Ruslan. In 2001, the Maria airplane, carrying a cargo of 253 tons, set 124 records in one flight. The Ukrainian town of Rakiv, located among the Carpathians, is officially considered the geographical center of Europe, and Ukraine itself is the largest European country, with its entire territory geographically located in Europe. George Gershwin wrote one of the world's most famous songs, Summertime, after being inspired by the Ukrainian folk lullaby Oikotits on Kolova Khan, The Dream Passes by the Windows. The Zaporizhian Siege, a socio-political and military administrative organization of the Ukrainian Cossacks, is rightfully considered one of the first democratic entities in the world. According to UNESCO, Ukrainians are the most singing nation and have created the largest number of folk songs. The Ukrainian collection contains 15.5 thousand songs. Italy is in second place with 6,000 folk songs. Ukraine, on its initiative, gave up the world's third largest nuclear weapons arsenal. At the time of its independence, Ukraine had more than a thousand nuclear warheads and missiles on its territory, the third largest nuclear potential after Russia and the United States. The warheads and missiles were transferred to Russia, and the bunkers were destroyed. In return, Ukraine received money for disarmament and security guarantees from the nuclear powers. Ukraine has more than 25% of the world's black soil reserves, which, if properly managed, 
yields the best crops. It is not for nothing that Ukraine is called the breadbasket of Europe. During the Second World War, Nazi Germany even tried to export our blacks oil by train. In terms of population, Ukraine ranks fifth in Europe after Germany, Italy, the United Kingdom, and France, and about 21st in the world. It accounts for 7.3% of Europe's population and 1% of the world's population. Oliski Sands is often called the Ukrainian Sahara. The area of the sands, which stretch over several districts of the Kherson region, is more than 160,000 hectares, making it the largest desert in Europe. The Oliski Sands are visible from space. The longest cave in Ukraine is called Optimistic and is located in Padilia, a gypsum cave at a depth of 20 meters that stretches for 216 Kelvin Nam. It is the longest gypsum cave in the world, second only to Mammoth Cave in the United States. The oldest settlement of Homo sapiens was found in the village of Mezai Rich, Cherkasy region. The oldest map was also found, which was carved on a mammoth bone 14.5 to 15,000 years ago. In terms of vocabulary, the closest language to Ukrainian is Belarusian, with 84% of common vocabulary, followed by Polish and Serbian 70% and 68% respectively, and only then Russian 62%. By the way, if we compare phonetics and grammar, Ukrainian has 22 to 29 common features with Belarusian, Czech, Slovak, and Polish, and only 11 with Russian. The first kerosene lamp was invented in Lviv by pharmacy workers in 1853. In the same year, the first surgical operation was performed in a Lviv hospital under kerosene lamp lighting. Later, the kerosene lamp was presented at an international exhibition in Munich. Kurischetik Street in Kiev, the capital of Ukraine, is the shortest main street, but at the same time one of the widest and most picturesque. Ostro Academy is the first higher education institution in Eastern Europe and the oldest Ukrainian scientific and educational institution. In 1576, Prince Konstantin Vasily of Ostro founded the Slavic Greek Latin Academy in Ostro. Three Ukrainian monasteries have Lavra status. These include the Holy Domitian Laver in Pochip, the Sviatogorsk Holy Domitian Laver in Donetsk Oblast, and the Kiev Petrsk Laver in Kiev. The architectural ensemble of Kiev Petrsk Laver is recognized by UNESCO as a World Cultural Heritage Site, and according to Orthodox Christians, it is the second most significant place of religious worship after Jerusalem. Overall, Ukraine is a country with a lot to offer from its rich cultural heritage and beautiful landscapes to its dynamic economy and vibrant society. Despite some of the challenges it has faced in recent years, it remains a country with great potential. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel not to the next videos.